tutorial I would show you how to model a car's tire um, so what we'll do is we'll just see a couple of uh, car tires see how they are how they are made actually there's a kind of pattern which is you know repeated along a circle so if we make a part of it and just rotate it along the circle we would have it so let's try it same way see here so what basically means is that you know if we create a mm, texture uh, I mean if we draw something like let's let me draw a cross section so if we have something like this made but you know surfaces protruding here 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 a little bit here also and if this is rotated it would create a tire so let's try this so what I'll do is I'll first create something um, from the top view and then from the side view I would extend this part so what I mean is I would first from the top view create cuts and all and then I'll go in the side view so it will become straight like this so I'll hold on to these vertex and vertexes and then I will extrude them like this on the side so when after this we look at the complete object it would have a shape like this a 3d shape like this because the tire has a, this kind of side also uh, which we wouldn't be able to create from the top view so we create it from the side view once we are done with the top view okay let's get started here okay what we do is create a plane um, we select these two bring back here mm -hmm. okay let's make it a little lesser Perfect. now let's have a loop cut somewhat here and then the other one somewhat here I'll tell you why I'm doing like this now let's have a loop cut somewhat here and somewhat here and let's have a mm, a loop cut here a loop cut here two in between one here other one here one here Okay, why I did this was because I wanted to extrude surfaces and to do that I needed uh, uh, a geometry like this because now I'll get into the face mode and I'll extrude so let's say I double I click C and I just use the uh, middle mouse roller button to just increase the size of this selection uh, circle I go small, I select all these mm, then I select um, oh, 
wait. I have to cut it here also two times, here also two times. I'll just use a kind of H I will create here. So I select all these. I select uh, these. I select these. To remove this, just middle click. And I choose these. Okay. Mm, I can choose this one also. Mm. Okay. Now I extrude. Okay. This one should be okay. Only thing is this is little away. So let's bring it closer. Go into the vertex mode. Select all of them so you have to choose the see-through angle otherwise the ones behind wouldn't be selected. Bring it closer. Okay. Now why I've select why I've done it like this, why I've created a space little bit here in this side is because if when when I use an array to actually replicate this strip, um, if you see a tire, you know, you see there is a distance between the extrusion on either side we have a space, you know. Until unless we create space here, the next strip would be almost touching the first one. So you so it, you wouldn't be able to make out the extrusion so that is why we have created sp space you know on either side now one thing you have to do is is that you know you have to remove the internal vertical frames what i mean is you see um, a frame like this it has to be removed otherwise you know it, it pulls the um, geometry uh, in a very weird way so I don't think we would require here to remove anything um, okay. So what we have to do is we have to close the patch this part. Anyway, we can do that later. So we remove this one. And the same way we remove this side one. The rest we don't need to. There's nothing actually no internal frames here. Okay. Um, this is also okay. Now what we do is we go into the side view. Um, press one. Um, ortho view. Vertex. Choose this. Select the bottom ones press E little bit like this little bit like this little bit like this the tire is little bit you know okay, okay. Now to give it a little realistic effect, what 